welcome back to another video with me Jamie and today I want to talk about something for the lips so um, we all have been using a lot of matte lipsticks recently I mean for the past couple of years matte lipsticks have been trending and people have been going crazy for matte lipstick I feel like my lips are getting super dry super chappy and just so dehydrated that I reach for a lip balm like almost every night. I love my lip oils. I mean, I've done a review on the L'Oreal lip oils and I love them. I use, I use them every day before I put on my lipsticks and they've been doing a really, really good job. However, I think I need a little more extra moisturization and I've been looking for a good product for a couple of months now and I've seen this all over the internet, all over Instagram. I don't know whether it's all about the packaging or the product so I wanted to give it a try. What I'm talking about is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. That's what it looks like. It comes in a jar of 20 grams. Now that's really really huge and that's something that actually caught my eye as well now <clears throat> I've done a review on the nukes lip balm before and I thought that was a huge jar for a lip balm when I saw this I was like let's try this um, I do have a couple of other lip balms if I can only reach that let me see Ooh. And I'm only going for this because I want to check how many grams that is because the Laneige lip mask comes in 20 gram jar. Now I'm looking at Blistex right here which comes in a 7 gram jar. Um, another one that I haven't reviewed so far is the Birds and Bees, Birds and Bees rather. Uh, again 7 grams jar. Figs and Rouge again and quite a big jar actually but again that's in 17 ml i'm not sure another one from an indian brand which is again maybe around seven grams and this is another one which is four grams so you can imagine if all those are seven and eight grams and i believe nukes is also less than this how big of a jar is this and how much product do you really get in this i mean I've been using this every night before I go to bed and I don't know whether you can see that in the camera. I'm just like scraping the surface. This is the first time I'm trying a lip mask. Um, so I was hoping for so much more. Usually we just slap on lip balm before we hit the bed and hoping, keeping our fingers crossed but that when we wake up in the morning, we do wake up with really moisturized and hydrated lips, which happens sometimes. Sometimes the lip balms don't work out. I tried this. I put uh, a thick layer all over my lips the first night that I tried it. Put it all over and went to bed and when I woke up the next morning I had a huge stain of lip mask all over my pillowcase which was uh, not exactly what I was hoping for so the next night I tried it once again I put a little thin layer all over my lips and went to bed and when I woke up the next morning my lips were dry my pillowcase was clean um, but I didn't get the effect that I wanted to get from a lip mask or at least what I was hoping for from a lip mask my lips were a little dry I want to say a little dry I would like them better moisturized if I'm spending so much on a lip mask I wasn't really happy with the slip mask. Of course, when I did put a thick layer all over my lips, I forgot to mention that my lips were super moisturized and hydrated the next morning. But I was really, really sad about my pillowcase, that there was a huge stain on my pillowcase. So now I don't really use it as a sleeping lip mask. I try to use it during the day when I'm just doing chores around the house. I'll just slap on a thick layer and I'll take it off with a washcloth. What I also like to do before I use a lip mask or a hydrating lip balm is um, a good scrub. I like to scrub my lips for about 30 seconds to a minute, use a warm washcloth, take the grimy stuff or the dry skin 
off and then follow up with a good lip mask and I think that works really well just not slapping a lip balm or a lip mask on before you go to bed I think a good scrub is so essential before you put any kind of lip products on your lips coming to the fragrance and the texture of this lip balm now it does smell really really nice um, the scent is kind of I want to say it's strawberry raspberry ish but um, this it just smells like a bubble gum you know oh my goodness it does smell really really nice however the texture is very sticky goopy so now I see why the spatula was given and I think it works excellent with the spatula uh, that you just dig in and kind of put it all over your lips I wouldn't suggest using your finger because it's just so sticky and oily sorry I'm just going to smell this Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So I would suggest taking care of your spatula because it's just better to use the spatula and then use it on your lips. I wouldn't suggest using the finger. It's not your normal um, lip balm to use the finger. It's, it's a very different texture. However, I would like like somewhere to put this because this just can get lost very, very easily. Uh, I think this should there should be some kind of attachment on the packaging where we can actually save this like you know the tatcha the tatcha i don't know is the eye cream or the moisturizer i'm not really sure where they have a really nice section to put the spatula so that's something that's actually missing in the packaging overall i think the product is really really nice and i do see the hype about this at the moment of course the packaging is really beautiful it smells really nice it works really well on the lips as well but the price point i think it's priced about 24 dollars that's a little steep i think that's the steeper side of a drugstore product but then again i do see you know how much that you're getting i'm sure this is going to last me a year um, that's only if I use it regularly with me trying so many products at the moment I don't think I would reach even half that tub this year. I think for the product that you get I think it's really good. I didn't get mine at Sephora and I was so surprised to see this at Sephora in the US which was so so good. I was looking around Riley Rose but I couldn't find it at that time. You can also find this at yesstyle.com. I believe Target has them as well and I'll also put a link to Amazon down in the description box. Alright so coming to whether Laneige is cruelty free or not. Now I've read that they have claimed that Laneige is a cruelty free company. I read here that the certificates are very misleading as many many of the ingredients that are in these cosmetics or skincare products have to be and need to be tested on animals so I'm not sure it's a very kind of gray area so I'm not really sure whether it's a cruelty free company or not they claim they are but I don't know so I'm just going to leave that as for now but if you know they do change uh, their statement in the future I'm going to update that in the description box down below however they are formulated without any parabens or phthalates I'm going to be adding the ingredient list here down for you to read and that's it for today's review thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next bye